Catherine from Fit Armadillo, the fitness company that lets you enjoy fitness at your place and your pace. And I'm here today because it is Titan and Tone Tuesday. February is Heart Health Month, where we try to raise awareness about the fact that heart disease is the leading cause of death in America for men and women. If you're just finding out the real impact of heart disease for the first time, it can be pretty scary. But what's really important to realize is that this is a disease that we actually can take steps to prevent. And the best way to prevent heart disease is through a healthy diet and through exercise. Last week, I started answering a question about your target heart rate and how important it is to stay in that zone. In last week's video, I focused on the difference between the fat burning zone and the fit zone or the athletic zone and how important it is to stay in either of those two zones during your workout. If you want to learn more about fat burning versus fit zone, please check out that video through this link. This week's video is going to focus on your target heart rate in general and how important it is to stay in that zone during your workouts and how to find out what your target heart rate actually is. So the question I was initially asked was how important is it to stay in your target zone? To answer this question in the simplest way possible, I'm going to say it's not very important because if stressing out over being in that zone is going to keep you from working out, then it's not useful at all. Most important is that you actually get out and start moving even if it's just walking. That's going to have a really big impact on your health and well-being versus not getting up and getting active because you're worried about whether or not you can actually fit in the target heart rate zone that's on the treadmill at your local gym. But to really answer this question, it's going to depend on your personal fitness goals and a few other things. The first thing that's important to realize is that most charts for target heart rate are actually outdated. So if you're trying to compare your heart rate to the target heart rate that's listed on the wall in your gym or on a piece of fitness equipment, you're probably not going to be working out in the correct zone in terms of what that equipment says, even if you're working out at the correct zone for you. So it's not important to work out at that target zone because most machines are outdated, but it is useful to figure out what your actual target heart rate should be and the appropriate zones for you. To calculate your target heart rate using the old formula, you would subtract your age from the number 220, and that would give you your maximum heart rate. And then you would multiply your maximum heart rate value by different percentages in order to figure out what your heart rate would be in different zones. If you're looking at a heart rate chart in your gym, this means that it's likely going to overestimate your heart rate if you're younger and underestimate your heart rate if you're older. The new formula that you want to use is this one here. You're going to have the number 208, and then from that number, you're going to subtract your age times 0.7. This value is going to be your new maximum heart rate. This new formula for calculating your maximum heart rate is not foolproof. There's still some standard deviation in the values that you'll get compared to other people in your age when they calculated this formula but it's a lot more accurate than the older ones. So this is the one you want to use and use as your starting point. Once you have your new maximum heart rate, you'll be able to find your new heart rate reserve value, which is the value that we use to figure out what your target heart rate zone should be. This formula requires you to take the new maximum heart rate that you just found and subtract your resting heart rate from this value. So the equation you would use would be this. To find your resting heart rate, you want to make sure that you're seated 
it's best to take your resting heart rate when you've just woken up. And you want to use your index and middle fingers to get your pulse right here by your thumb. You don't want to use your thumb on the opposite hand to get your pulse because a thumb has its own pulse. So make sure you use index and middle finger to find that pulse. And usually we take the pulse for 10 seconds and multiply that value by six to get your resting heart rate in beats per minute. So you already know how to find your new maximum heart rate. From there, you're going to subtract your resting heart rate in beats per minute. Once you have that value, that's your heart rate reserve value. And you can multiply that by different percentages to get your actual target heart rates. For most people, the low end of the intensity for your heart rate should be 60% of your heart rate reserve. So you'll just multiply your heart rate reserve value by 0.6 to get your beats per minute. And the higher end of that spectrum is 80% of your heart rate reserve. So you would multiply your heart rate reserve by 0.8 to get your target heart rate in the higher end of the spectrum. Working out three to five times a week at 60 to 80% of your heart rate reserve, you'll be able to increase your heart health, and that's the goal for most healthy individuals. 60 to 80% of your heart rate reserve, three to five times a week. Now, if you haven't been working out for a while, instead of having your target heart rate fall in the 60 to 80% range of your heart rate reserve, you'll need to have your heart rate falling in the 40 to 50% range of your heart rate reserve. Also, if you're just starting out, your workouts will be shorter, especially for the first four weeks, 15 to 20 minutes of that low intensity workout will be enough. So just walking will be fine. So our question was, how important is it to work out at our target heart rate? And the answer is, it's not very important if it's going to keep you from working out. So make sure that you just get started. Walking is going to be enough to give you some heart health benefits. If you're here and you're watching this video, you probably care about your heart health and your overall fitness. And in that case, you probably do want to look at your heart rate during your workouts. You don't want to use the old formulas and the old charts. You want to find out your maximum heart rate first, your heart rate reserve, and then calculate what your heart rate will be at 60 to 80% of your heart rate reserve and work out in that zone three to five days a week. If you're an athlete, you will work at a higher level than that 80% in order to improve your athletic fitness. So athletes actually will be working in that 90% of their heart rate reserve during some workouts. Thank you so much for stopping by to learn more about how to find your target heart zone and what zone you should be working in during your workouts. Did you make the calculations to figure out your maximum heart rate? heart rate reserve and the target heart rate that you want to be working in for your workouts? Leave a comment below and let me know if you did and share your target training zone if you'd like. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day, a great workout, and to see you next week. Thanks!